G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Bloodborne on the PS4 Pro. Uh, last time we had just beaten the Vicar Amelia, I think was her name, and this time I think we'll go towards the uh, the uh, Carnal Lane, Charnel Lane. I don't know. Um, it sounds like a uh, a red light district. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we'll we'll check it out anyway. I want to head in that direction because I think. Well, I, I read somewhere, shit, uh, that that's where you get the um, the thing where you can put runes or sigils on your character. So I want to go after that one. Uh, and then after that, maybe we'll have a look at a chalice dungeon. We'll see how, the, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just want to start off by saying a big thank you to Plain Target. He actually dropped a bit of a contribution at the end of the last stream. So thank you, mate. Thank you for the crowns. Um, the treasury appreciates it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, I've been a bit flaky the past few days because my wife just got back from Korea uh, with my daughter as well, so I'm incredibly happy that they're back. And I'm actually already feeling better about, like, you know, work and stuff, so pumped. Really good. Um, so, my intention over the next week or so, I hope, uh, we'll see what happens with new releases and stuff, but my intention over the next, you know, week, month, whatever, is trying to go back and finish up, like, tie up some loose ends of games that I never... There's, like, Secret of Mana I didn't finish. I want to go back and do that. I also want to go back and do uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds. I just don't want to have any incomplete stuff left on the channel. And also, uh, we'll be playing a bit of Final Fantasy XV as well. So, uh, yeah. As well as a new uh, update dropping for Monster Hunter next week. So, should be pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, Noctis is also coming to uh, Tekken 7 next week, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a jam-packed month, I think. But anyway, um, hello to Dragons Gaming Unite. Hello, man. Uh, Chris Roder, hello, man. Uh, Jackie M, hello. Uh, Harold, hello. Uh, Snow, I don't think he's st still here, but hello. Uh, who else we got? Joe Clark, hello, Joe Clark. Um, who else we got? Azriel, hello. Kine, Jonathan. Hello to you and bunnies. Uh, Zakazulu, g'day mate. Uh, Sanji, hello. Chopper Chopper Man, hello dude. Uh, Sanji Gaming, Chopper, did you like the uh, announcement last night? All of this stuff looks really good for Monster Hunter, dude. Really good. And RPG Gamer, gamer. hello. Uh, so, right now, I think I got everyone. Uh, we're going to head to the Charnel. Is it Charnel? I think it's... No, how do you spell Charnel? Charnel. Charnel, carnal? Is it like different spellings or what? I'm gonna have a look it up. Charnel. Short for charnel house. Man, sometimes you look up stuff on the dictionary and they put it, they describe it in a way like how to pronounce it. I don't even know how to pronounce the way that they've written it down, so. <laughs> Whatever. G'day, Jose. Um, carnal. Charnel and carnal. No, I don't... Sh shut up. Shut up. I think uh, we go to uh, the where we fought Vicar Amelia. And uh, I think we go, according to stuff, go to the, uh, to the left. Yeah, Pickle is back in Monster Hunter World. Should be good, man. Should be good. I am... I, it's really cool. We got the, um, the, like, head of the guild. We got his hairstyle in the game, too, so... Yeah, Chopper, that looks awesome, that Turf War, man. It looks crazy good. I think someone was saying in the guide it said it was to the left of where we fought Vicar. I don't know if that's right or not. I don't know if that's right. I really just want to get the rune thingy. Yeah, that's the Joe Clark. That's actually pretty good, um... I can, like, I'm a big fan of reading novels. Uh, generally, my, generally, my pronunciations are okay, like, generally, but, um, where is it? Um, but, sometimes I can read a book for, you know, I've read a book many times, and then it's not until I talk to someone about it, and they're like, dude, that's not how you say that, and I'm like, ah, oh, alright, I've been reading it wrong my, like, whole experience with it. Um, maybe it's back out towards the entrance more. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Alright. 
Yeah, I guess not. I, um, up, up to this point, I think I've gone to the, um, I think I've fought the witch who is the boss of this place before, but, um, uh, but I have never, I think that's the, the final boss that I've come up against. Because she's a, they're an optional, uh, path, I think. I don't know where to go. Um, yeah, people have been thinking that Devil Joe was going to be out way before he was. I think some people were thinking he came out last week, but, um, no, he's uh, coming out on the 22nd. So that's where we had to go, where the channel lane should be around here somewhere then, huh? Let's just poke around. Holy shit balls! Oh, I remember where that was. That was, um... That was the wolf that was sitting up on that wall. I remember that. Hey, was... Was that... Wait. That wasn't there last time, was it? I remember the wolf being up there, but I don't remember that dude being up there. It... Is that... What? Is that new? And can we hit him down? Probably not, eh? Because there doesn't seem to be anywhere up the top that we can... I don't know. Whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't really know where to go. Let's try it. Oh, shitballs. Buddy. Wow. So, I managed to upgrade the Ludwig sword up to uh, plus six, I think. Um, oops. So, it's uh, pretty powerful at the moment. Hey. Uh, my skill is not powerful at all. Yeah, it could be more insight, but I had round about the same insight. It's just, that strikes me as I definitely didn't see that last time. That's cool that it kind of messes with you like that. That sounds incredibly productive there, Jackie. <laughs> Whoa, bit of glitch town there. Um, this is definitely, if someone said go to the left of Vicar, this is definitely not, I don't feel, is to the left of the Vicar. At all. Oh, yeah. Sweeping attacks. Can anyone give me a bit of direction? I, I really don't know where to get to the, uh... The charnel lane. Oh, can we go through here? God damn it. You gotta... Look at my sword. Cut the goddamn gate down, mate. I could just cut it in half. The whole gate. Just, like, step on through. Go to the Grand Cathedral Lamp. Ooh. Alright, Chopper. Are you a Bloodborne, Chopper? Alright, let's use a... Uh, I'm just going to use a bulb mark and get the crack out of here. Go to the Grand Cathedral Lamp. Alright, I'll give that a shot. It's weird, because I read on the IGN wiki, it said... Um, go to the left of where we fought um, the Vicar. Wait, what was the boss? Oh, that was a Bloodstar... No. That was a Bloodstar Beast I fought there, wasn't it? Ah. Okay, I think I'm, yeah, I'm totally in the wrong area. Church of the Good Chalice is the Bloodstar Beast. Maybe. That's why I'm getting confused. I'm in Iowa. Do we have a death count going? Yeah, zero. Zero. None. I'm fantastic. G'day, Hamari. Hello, by the way, Amina. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. I was in the total wrong area. Thank you, Chopper. For some reason, I thought where that Bloodstained Beast was, was the, uh... Or Bloodstarved Beast was this one. So, I've been watching quite a few videos from, uh, Vardy Vidya. Um, and he... Yeah, really good. I don't know... Some people level criticism that he takes other people's ideas or something, but I don't know, I really like the way that he presents his videos, so, um, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Vardy Vidya. Check him out. He's good. Uh, I think it's like... I think that's how you spell his name. He does really good lore videos on Bloodborne. 
Actually, I preferred his series on like Dark Souls 1 and 2 and 3, but yeah, that's just because I... Oh shit. That's because I like the lore of those a bit better. Ha. Take that, buddy. Boom! I thrust deeply into you. Um... Alright, I don't think it's this left. Is it? Oh, maybe, because I was like, oh man, so many choices. Ooh, is this it? This could be it. Go left, then another left, then hang a right, and then up the stairs, and then down two flights of stairs, and you'll be there. Oh, that sounds... no worries. All good. <laughs> I hate when people... Um, this happens a lot at work because I used to do like a lot of deliveries um, and the older guys at work would be used to explaining directions to people and they'd be like oh you, you know this road and that road and then you go down this road and then you turn left and that road and this road and that one on the left and I'm like dude I got Google Maps man like it's, it's cool I'll find it it's all good <laughs> hey what area is this this doesn't feel like a what I imagine it would be I think I'm going in the... Is this the forest or something? Is this where I need to be? I don't know. We'll see. I don't like the look of this area at all. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the... Um, the fog shrouded area in... Uh, in um, Dark Souls 2, just without all the fog around. Oh, shit. Shit. Why do those guys do so much damage with their guns? And my gun is like a freaking pea shooter. Oh, they're gonna have snipers all over this place, huh? Alright. Pick up my shiz. Hello from Brisbane, Jackson Brown. Well, mate, you don't need to say hello from Brisbane, because I am in Brisbane right now. I live in Brisbane. So, g'day, mate. Unless you're in a, an American Brisbane or a somewhere else Brisbane. I think there's a Brisbane in America somewhere. It's not as awesome as this Brisbane, but you know. Man, these guys are shitting me. Good for bullets, though, that I never use because I'm a scrub. Um, man, I am already so disorientated. Oh shit. When in doubt, re <laughs> weep softly. Yeah, good good advice there, mate. <laughs> I love that meme or the uh, the little webcomic that's like, um, curl up in a little ball, try not to cr cry, um, and then fail miserably or something along those lines. Um, I forget what it is. Fetal position? Maybe they say fetal position. I don't know. Man, these dogs are all effed up. You would think that wouldn't make a more powerful dog if they're all tortured and stuff. Surely that would make them not as strong. Come on, buddy. Yeah. You don't even drop anything, bloody dog. Uh, I'll go push back here and see what, what's up. Roll a lot. Mate, I don't need that. I'm a, I'm a champion sniper killer here. So that's where we came in. Alright. I'm just uh, checking that we got everything here. Whee! My stamina bar still still seems really tiny. I guess I'm used to... Whoa, shick balls. Um, I guess I'm used to the one on Dark Souls a bit more. So hopefully we get news about the, uh, the online uh, stress test for Dark Souls soon. Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, it should be coming up soon, I would imagine. I hope so, man. I'm going to be all over it. Cannot wait. Wow, that... Oh, these are dudes we've killed. God damn it. Am I going back towards the entrance? I am. I don't even know where I am. Oh, did you just... Fuck, did you move? Alright. Oh, see you, Chopper. Have a good one, mate. 
Yeah, we got to start doing uh, co-op soon. I haven't done any yet. Is that an item up there? Yes. Give it to me. Man, it's so unfortunate when you see, like... Hey! Oh, you don't really need those, but thank you. Um, it's so unfortunate when you see, like, bodies right near the uh, exit of an area. Or near a lamp or something, like the, the blood stains. Because you're like, dude, you're so close. So close. Alright, oh. Snippers. No, thank you, snipper. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love... That's, I guess, ugh. Dealing with, like, dogs and fast enemies, um, the broad sweep of, like, great swords are amazing. They're so good. Blop. What else have we got? Anything? Oh, is it Bosco time? How did you die, mate? Made it all the way to the gate and then just copped it. Ah, oh, poor dude. Alright. Something in here? Maybe. Ah, uh, Ludwig's. I think I got it, like, two streams ago. Or oh, maybe at the start of last stream. Uh, maybe at the start of last stream I got it. Then I farmed up some uh, twin blood shards for it. Um, and we used it to kill the vicar. Ooh. Where's this? What area is this? I don't even know what area this is. We haven't had a little thing yet. It's interesting that there's a lantern there. Alright. Be very glad that I have low inside at the moment. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I know, like, back before... What the fuck is that? Uh, I know before the vicar, uh, like, the dudes with the cross things, they get, like, uh, fire all over them as well. If you've got high insight. No. Whoa. How, how do they get such powerful torches? Why don't we just take them? Like, the enemies with torches can absolutely mess you up. Oh, this looks friggin' crazy now. Oh, shitballs. No! And... Uh, so many enemies have done it. I... Just that slither of health. Just that goddamn slither of health. It always gets me. Can we chop these down? Oh, yum. There you go, Bloodborne. Drink their blood, mate. Oh, there's someone in there. Why the hell would anybody be in there? Why would anyone be in there? the fuck was that? <clears throat> Listen to the background. We'll see if we can get it. Man, this place is fucking disturbing. Jesus. <laughs> and there's people ah ah shouting in the background. Oh, do I want to do that? Oh, I don't know if I should be going. This is not the channel lane, is it? Is it? No, it feels kind of witchy. There's witches everywhere. Hey, mate, don't look in that window. It's some people. No, no respect for privacy. Thought I saw an item up there. Ooh, twin blunt shards. Hey, you got shit. Oof! Yeah. Um, I thought I thought I saw an item glowing up there. Maybe I'm wrong. Is there? No, I guess not. Oh, the witches. Oh, yeah, I've done the witches before. Um, I know if you've got, like, zero insight, they can be made, like, completely trivial, but, um, 
I don't think I want to get rid of all my insight just for that. What do we got here? I'm thinking this is ambush central, right? Come on, doggy. This area is the least memorable in all of Bloodborne. Why is that? Just because the... Oh, shit. This is completely optional, though, right? It's weird that they make such a completely optional section have, like, a very powerful item in it. Okay, we got a hammer dude up there. It's not hammer time, buddy. This is made so much easier by having the, uh, the sword upgraded to the point that I have it. Getting those, uh, twin blood shards early is uh, hella good. Uh, no, I haven't killed Pal yet. Anything else around here? Nope. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, I was on the wrong, uh, wrong level to, uh, to finish him. Revenge! Take that, mate. It's funny going back to enemies, like, when you first start the game, you get, like, I was backpedaling major. It's amazing how easy it is to actually counter some of them. Uh, I don't know, Ian. I'll, I'll see how it all goes, man. Um, like I've said before, if I get stuck on bosses for, like, days in a row, then it'll kind of kill my want to do the DLC. So we'll see how I progress. Um, we'll see if that's a gate back up there that I need to open. Anything down there? Nope. I don't think I can open this gate, though, right? Oh shit. <laughs> I totally like looked at her and she I think looked at me and then nothing. Oh she just went back to her position. What a hottie. There's hotties everywhere. Why are they hiding in graver graveyards? They should be out strutting their stuff. G'day crow, what are you hiding, mate? Why are you out there by yourself? Huh? Uh, I don't like that crow being there. Oh. Alright, so there's a pathway up to the left. Oh shit, balls. Oh, apparently, um... Shut up, crow boys. Uh, apparently here, according to uh, Vardy Vidya, one of these crows is actually non-hostile. Where is he? I think that one in the front. We'll try not to kill him. Is that... is he dead? No. Mate, I'm just trying to talk to your friend. Like, this guy is non-hostile. This is in, like, uh, his... Vadi video does, uh, like, 50 interesting facts or 15 inter interesting insights. I wonder if there was a purpose behind it, or his AI is just bugged up, or I don't know what the deal is with that dude. We'll just le leave him to mourn the loss of his friends, huh? G'day, Mistal. I'm good, man. I'm really good. My family's back, so... Um, yeah. Really good, man. He's a precious boy. <laughs> oh, this is a lift. Ah, Is this a lift back to where we saw the thingy before? Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, shortcut. Alright, I know where we are. ka -chink. Man, in, there's so many instances in this game, and you'd have the strength to do it, because you're a tough dude. Or chick. Um, if you just had, like, a rope and some climbing gear, you could skip, like, half the game, man. 
Oh shit balls! <laughs> wow, their their colours just seep into the background. So easy. Uh, any goodies for me? Yeah, yeah. Bone marrow ash. Or oh, rock dude. G'day rock dude. Oh bullshit. I totally counted you fool. Oh, there's someone behind me too. Oh, copped it. Listen, punk. Oh, man, everything... I keep on saying it, but everything is so grotesque in this game. Just grotesque. Is Bloodborne more merciful than Dark Souls? Well, so far I've found Dark Souls more more habitable. And there's something behind me, isn't there? Fucking hell. Dude. I'm beginning to really hate these chicks. Do we actually see any live horses, well, undead horses in this? Oh, do I have my lantern? Where is my lantern? Yes. A chink. Oh, I really don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this. Um, alright. Let's get out. I feel safer with my big ass two-hander out. Maybe something up on the rafters? Um, can we go across there? Yeah. Oh, Gatlin gun mofo. Man, running past him, he would just smash you with his Gatlin gun afterwards. I'll break all your shit, old man. So you get for trying to sneak up on me. Adept blood gemstone. Madman's knowledge? I don't know what he was trying to do. Anyway. Well, it does enough. It makes it not so dark, so I don't feel so scared and lonely. <laughs> That's all I need it for. I know you can bring out the uh, the torch, but uh, I'm a pussy. Although the torch isn't, because I don't use my uh, my sidearm all that much, so it might not be that big a hindrance. What do you got for me, mate? What did you get killed by? I guess he ran past some enemies or something. Hmm. Weird. It's an odd area. We go down over here. Man, I'm tense. I'm tense. <laughs> uh, here we go. Ooh. G'day, MC. Boom! <laughs> what did she say? Blah, 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 blah. Sounds about right. Nothing hiding over there? Nope. Not today, woman. Who else we got? Sickle chick over there, kinda. Oh shit. Oh, man, so many times I see those bloody shadows and they freak the crap out of me. So there's an item down there too. Oh. Boom! <laughs> you lose. Uh, no, my, my wife didn't. She's a uh, brother is going to send a package over Miss Doll. So I might be able to do that um, Korean Snacks 3 at some point. I did get... This is the one thing that my wife bought for me. Which is not very Korean. But... It's a cup. And here is the handle. Which is... It's very odd. 
to hold, but um, no, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. My daughter loves a cup. Like sitting down for breakfast, she just sits there, moo, moo, <laughs> while I'm. Uh, oh shit! But they just look like the background. Um. Yeah, just sits there mooing while I'm drinking my coffee. Get the fuck out of here. Man, I want to know, do these chicks even drop their Molo Molotov cocktails? It'd be a bit broken if they didn't. Man, it's a shame I don't really need the twin blood shards for the weapons I've got. Um, maybe we should surprise MF her. Holy fucking shit! I'm saying too many F words, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> wow, she got me good. She got me hella good. Um... Anything else down here? Nope. Oh, Executioner guys. These guys, I went back, I was trying to... I was trying to um, farm the gemstones off them in the like the first one you see, and I was going, yeah, I've totally got this. I know the timing for the counter and everything. Nah, they they were just wrecking me. Hey, buddy. It's weird. Some you can stun on their startup animation. Others have to be full on attacking you to get it. Come on, mate. Yeah. Well. How about we just kill them? Maybe that'll be a good idea. Oh. Oh! Punched him right through the armor. Oh, they have the same health as the original Executioner guy. Oh, whatever, mate. You, you're, you're just dead. I'm gonna kill you. Look <laughs> at him dragging his mate around. Give it to me. Yo, oh, you want it? Oh. Hopefully they give me blood vials. Yeah, they did. Good shit. Ah, okay. Shortcut back to here. Good stuff. Pachink. Well, that'll save me some time, but hopefully I won't have to go all the way here. G'day, Arya. Uh, you didn't miss much. You missed me, um, yeah, getting scared crapless by the, uh, the witch chicks and then swearing at them. Oh. <laughs> Just, it's such an insult when you, like, kill the enemy, then you drag him around underfoot. I love it. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a doggy somewhere. Is he gonna path all the way around for me? Oh shit, where did it... Not today, dodge. Oh shit, maybe today. Just that slither of health, man. Just that slither. It happens far too frequently. I wonder if there's like a mechanic that... No, that's, that's too silly. I won't even go on with that. It's almost like enemies have like a preservation type of skill that gives them like one HP left. Oh, good dodge. Bitch. Oh. The fact that you can get HP back from them if you hit them after you've taken a hit is godly. It saves my ass so many times. Alright, let's pick up this item. Oh, is there something going to rush me down after I pick it up? Oh. Oh! Nothing. Pick it up, mate. Pick it up. Lake! Ooh, there's a there's a rune thing for me. I can't I can't do anything with it yet. That's why I'm trying to go in here so I can do something with it. G'day, speed stunt. How you doing, man? Uh what did I miss? Can I go up there? No. Can I go up there? No. I can't go down there, can I? No. 
I understood water being lethal in Dark Souls because usually you're like, like massively encumbered with armor and stuff. So I can kind of understand sinking to the bottom of a lake, but maybe not with the lighter. I know this armor would still be heavy, but I don't know. I don't feel like water would be such a death sentence in uh, Bloodborne. Any item? Ooh. Any items around here? Nero. Why are you dead, buddy? What's coming for us? If there's corpses, there must be a reason behind it, right? Oh, a hammer chick and another chick? Anything over here? Oh. Oh. How did that last attack freaking miss? Oh, bitch. No! Oh. <laughs> she so should have hit me just then. Bam. Surprise attack failed, woman. Well, we'll see, actually. Oh. Alright. Blood vials? What's this? Why not go for a swim? Um, it's a bit chilly. That's why. Oh, that triangle. I actually need one of those for my Kirk hammer. If I intend to use it later. Pachink. I'm guessing he died, yeah. You pushed up too fast, buddy. Uh, I don't like the look of that in there. I really don't. Um, Alright, let's do it. Oh, I really don't like the look of this shit. Are they explosive? <laughs> Are they explosive? I roll into them. Oh! Twin blood shards, I'm guessing. Any advice for fighting the Vicar? Yeah, um, there should be a summon. I think you can get... What was the name of the summon that we got? Was it Raphael? No, not Raphael. Um, Ricard, maybe? Oh, this is... De I remember this room. This is the boss room. Um, there is a summon that you can take up, up into it. Make, try and find the summon first, mate. It's going to help things a lot. Um... What do we want here? Do we want anything here? I'll put on ant. Do we have antidotes? Just in case. Feels like a poisony fight, but. Eh. I remember this fight. I'm really not looking forward to it. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Oh, is that what Nummy Mist does? It stops them from healing. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so this boss, I think, replicates themselves all the time. You have to find the witch or something. Oh. No! I okay. Um... Yeah, I think she summons in these, like, dudes, but you have to find where she is. I don't remember if you can just ignore them straight out or not. I'll kill them anyway if I can. See, that Slither of Health bullshit. Every goddamn time. Where did her little thingy go? Oh, I love the music, wow. Um, where's a little flashy thing? Oh. Did she summon two? No, it's still one. <laughs> Intense, man.
now I think like three of them come out or some shit, do they? No! Where did she go? Oh shit. Oh man. <clears throat> I told. Get. No! Come on, really? Is that me? Done. I'm gonna take a couple. Oh, I'm gonna. Holy shit! I'm gonna try and take a couple of these guys. No, fuck it, I won't. I think there's three of these witches though. Is she? Is the other one healing? We'll ignore him for now. We'll see if we can get it by without them. Oh shit! There's the other one. I'm not reading chat at the moment, by the way, so if you're giving me tips, I really can't see them right now. One more? I'm gonna do this to make sure I kill her this round. Well, no! Oh, she's back up there. Take that, you bastard. Oh, that must be her fakes. No? Oh no, that's that's really her. I got no stamina, fool. Don't fight. There. Done. No, crap. Come on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good shit. That went pretty well. Bloodshot eyeball. That one didn't, that didn't go too bad. <clears throat> it took me a while to get down that second witch, but pretty good. I like it. The sword saved my ass so bad. If it hadn't been so powerful, that would have been a really hard fight. Yeah, speed stunt. The hoodie looks friggin' awesome, man. It looks really good. I'll be playing uh, Tekken 7, the DLC, when it comes out. Definitely. Pachink! Yeah, that went, that went really well. I was thinking that was gonna be a wipe fest for me, but yeah, pretty good. Yeah, the sword. I got carried by my sword that time, you know? Because if you don't have a really powerful weapon, like, the guys just keep on... Yeah, it's a stress, stress thingy. Alright, wow. There's a hunter. Didn't look like he had a good time. Rune workshop tool. That's exactly what I wanted. Good stuff. Oh, so that's, um... It's a dead end. There's nothing else to do in here. Huh. Okay. Well, that's that's exactly what I wanted, so good shit. Good shit. I think we're done in here. Oh, is he gonna make it? Go, son! Go! <laughs> Okay. 44k, uh, Blood Echoes too, that's pretty good. Oh, that went really well. Really well. I was dreading that fight, man, I really was. Let's go look out, uh, look at our, uh, workshop. So we've got one rune now, I think, that lake one, right? Memorize a Carol? Chiral? Carol? Uh, rune to acquire Eldritch Strength. Communion. Higher blood vial maximum. Uh, only plus one. Eh, I suppose that's alright. Increases physical damage reduction. Acquire more blood echoes. Alright, well, I definitely want this. Can we put on two? Ooh, we can put on... Ooh. What does that one do? Oath memory. Okay. Well, I guess we'll put on all three, huh? Good shiznizzle. Uh, 
good stuff. I like it. Uh, well, we didn't get any other dingalings. Oh, we got a new blood gem, didn't we? But I think it's a triangle one, so we can't really do much with it on this weapon. Uh, Kirkhammer, though, the triangle. Dude, it's actually hella, hella good. But we can't use it for the, um, for our current weapon. That's a bit balls. Oh, well. Um, we'll put on the Kirk just in case, if we want to jump into it at some point. That one's better. It is. Thrust attack up, 7.2%. Oh, is that is that better for the Ludwig? No, it just makes a thrust attack. Ah, uh, but the thrust makes it, it makes it so much better. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll chuck that on there and keep that one on there. Good shit. Hey -ya! Um, I... Uh, I'm going to try the uh, Chalice Area Dungeon, I think. Um, yeah, that was my main goal of this one. Oh, we'll check in here. We didn't get a new badge, did we? So probably won't have new items in here. We'll have a look. No. Uh, Ritual Bud? I don't know if we have enough items to summon it all in, but we'll have a look. Nothing new. How about the insights? Everything is weak to thrust damage. Oh, yeah. The thing is, the wind-up on this thrust is pretty high. Material used in Holy's Chalice Ritual? Okay. Oh, although the um, the one-handed has a pretty good thrust, doesn't it? Yeah, that's... Maybe I'll... Yeah! Maybe I'll use that a bit more. Alright, let's do a Chalice Dungeon. People hate Chalice Dungeons, right? A short Ritual Root Chalice. Didn't we have one? There it is. With a chalice ritual or search for chalice dungeons created by uh, hunters in other worlds. Let's do the ritual. Because I think you can share your uh, your dungeons, can't you? you? You get a code or something for them and you can, um, you can share them. Shared fixed dungeon. I don't know what that does. Alright, whatever. Let's do it. Did we conduct the ritual? Pa-ching! The ritual is finished and a chalice rests upon the altar. You now may explore the dungeon. Let's check it out. Chamber of the Seal. Ooh, ooh. There's only depth one. Um, let's go. They're boring. They're just like a procedurally generated one, right? Oh, my blood echoes. I totally forgot. God damn it. Yeah, because they're procedurally generated. I, yeah, I remember these, actually. If I jump out, it won't waste it, will it? Whatever. I'm going to spend my echoes anyway. Yeah, good idea. Otherwise, you know I'm going to lose them. <laughs> I don't know where my build is, though. Um, John, I think you you and Bunnies were talking about stats generally cap out or soft cap around 40, don't they? You get really big diminishing returns around 40. Actually, you get pretty high diminishing returns before 40. I'm even starting to notice it now, like strength 25, I'm getting way less than I would from skill. So I'm already noticing diminishing returns, but I don't know really at what, at what rate. Get more health. Actually, I want to go. I'm gonna strong arm it. Fuck it. Forty is a soft cap. Okay. Farewell. All right. Okay. Can we actually? Is there one here for chalice dungeons? No. I guess we just go back down into the thing. No place to awaken? Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Only the root dungeons, I think, are the random layouts. Oh, okay. Alright. 
Yeah, I've heard they're good, uh, the Chalice Dungeons are good for farming gems at the deeper levels. Alright. This one is only depth of one, so I can't imagine there'd be too much in here, right? Wondrous Friend. And it's all to thanks to Ritual Material. Alright, mate. I think you can jump into other people's dungeons if you get summoned in or you go into their dungeon and it doesn't cost you any materials, so that might be a good way for me to farm up stuff. Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Wait. Why is there another lamp right there? That seems very odd. This looks uh, interesting. Rats. Giggity. It's a shame we don't have a bow or something. We just sit up here and snipe the crap out of them. I got this chalice a fair... Uh, a, a while ago in the game. So maybe the, I'll be a little bit uh, over level for it. I hope. We'll check down here then we might head up there. Oh, there's everywhere to go. Okay, we'll take out these dudes then. Oh shit. Alright, buddy. These are... what do they call them? The Temerians, are they? The weird chalice keepers or whatever. Or keeper of ancient knowledge or some crud. Look, mate. Don't play with fire. Holy shit balls! <laughs> oh, there's booby traps and all. What's this? You're in the know, right? Remember old labyrinth. Uh, I don't know. I'll, uh... No, mate! You fucker. And I got poison. Um, I'm numb. Alright. Oh. They've all got knives and shears as well. Whoa, crap. Got you, mate. Hopefully there's some uh, good rewards in here, though. Boom, boom. Man, even the one-hander of this is actually pretty good now. Maybe because the enemies are fairly low level in here. Hey, later on, uh, can you actually get fully imbued weapons, like fire and lightning weapons and stuff, that stay like that? Or is it... Oh, shit. Or is it always through bolt paper? Who the crap hit me? Oh, he's in the mist there. Can we break it? Maybe I could have used it. Oh well, whatever, I don't care. Well, I do, but anyway. Um, Guys get a boner. Don't really want to mess with that. I've had my fill of guys with boners. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Thrust! Yeah. Thrust! <laughs> well, he didn't have much, did he? He got nothing, bud. I suppose we could have ran... Oh, unlocked. We could have ran straight past him. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? I love it that... Um, In-game messages, they can show up like... Right up in the middle of your stream, like, uh, in the middle of your, uh, game, saying, like, Oh, something's open somewhere. Surely, if they were that magical and powerful to give you a message that a door opened, they could just tell you which door it was or how to get to it, right? Oh, fuck. Um, I suppose you can just jump down. Oh, we got some bag dudes. Nah, not today, Junior. 
They look explosive, bro. No? Molotov? You can get gems that'll change your damage to fire, bolt, or arcane. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I imagine getting, like, hella strong physical with, yeah, bolt paper on top would be a better option, right? Or some form of papers. So you guys checking me out? <laughs> well, I... Yeah, anyway. Is he a bigger rat than the rest of them? <laughs> Mate, you gonna come after me after all that? Silly Billy. Tomb Mold. Oh, that must be uh, Chalice uh, material. Coins? Come on, mate. Yeah, the rats look like they have bot flies in them. I don't know if you guys ever watched, if you've been in that weird place of uh, YouTube where you watch like bot fly extractions. Oh man, it's horrible. Or mango worms or something. Ugh. The, the rats look like they're inflicted with that. Afflicted? Inflicted? Afflicted, I think. Oh, life. Secret wall? Oh, man. Oh, life. Is that a... Is that a hint? Bless us with blood. No, I guess not. That totally seems like a secret place. Where's this door that opened, though? Yeah, John, it's hella bad. And the worst thing is, once you stumble on that side of YouTube, your whole feed becomes, like, full of those videos. So it's like a perpetuating cycle, you know? Yeah, I watch some crazy shit on YouTube. It, it's really odd. Um, last time when my wife went away, it kind of slips as well. I, it gets to the really odd, darker side, you know? Yeah, so right now my uh, my whole YouTube feed is filled with like just bot fly extractions and uh, mango worm things and uh, like cysts and all this just f f friggin' messed up stuff. And it it only takes a couple of videos and your entire feed just gets spammed with that shit. Uh, was this back at the start? It was. This is where the We'll see. There was another ladder I didn't climb up on the uh, the left over here. We'll see what's up this ladder. And then uh, we'll head back to the start, see if there's another door. G'day, Jack Ripper. Hey. Giant foe waits ahead. Man, he's a beast. Look at that strength. It's weird. To open a door like that, he kind of, he struggles a little bit, then just goes, huh! Um, but to open, like, actual doors, he goes, Ugh! it takes him about four hours and about 42 million megatons of strength to push it open. Oh, boss town. Holy shit, bolts. All right, mate. What do you got for me? Ow! Alright, he's not... he's... Uh, yeah, I won't say he's not too bad, because then he'll own me. I think he stepped on my foot! I got sun there for a little bit, and it was just because he was walking forward. Let's see what our big blade does on him, huh? Wow, that hurt. Chink. Oh, <laughs> yes. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <sighs> Am I getting? I'm getting too cocky now. 
Is he actually bleeding? No. Oh! <gasps> Oh, where's the stun? That should have stunned him. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go. Take that, mate. See, with that dude, I went in with... I was a bit junky, like, I got hit by stuff I shouldn't have, but... Um, I went in with, like, zero apprehension. So it makes bosses so much easier, but when you go through, like, a boss mist... It, it like a stigma, like an air of... There's like a stigma around it or something. It just, uh... I don't know. The pressure becomes yeah, a hindrance in the fight. But then I was just like, eh, what do you got? Don't care. Oh, you can do a ground pound after it. Hey, nice. That's pretty good. Does it take up my entire stamina bar, though? I imagine it would. Can I dodge after it? No, okay. I'd have to make sure that I connect with the last one, otherwise I'm going to be, yeah, not good. I guess that's the, is that the exit then? It said the depth was only one. Oh, maybe it means like, I was thinking it would mean only one floor in total, but no, I guess not. <laughs> We didn't get that many souls from killing that dude, though, or uh, echoes, rather. G'day, Jeff. How you doing, man? Yeah, Jack, I saw you before. Uh, oh, no, Jack, I said hello to you before. I was like, I think I said hello to Jack. Okay, so there's a ladder out there. Hmm... Wow, we got two inside off killing that guy, did we? That looks like a trap. Yep. Oh. Maybe this is a... we fall down to this area? No? How... do you guys know how frequent um, trapdoors are in the Chalice Dungeons? Is it something that I should be striking, like, lots of walls to look for? Or are they really infrequent? Oh, shitballs. <laughs> Don't roll again, you bastards. I found a really... Oh, shit. What's with this guy? Can he not be killed or something? Reminds me of the blood skeletons from uh, Castlevania. How hard do I find the game? Um... I don't know, the thing is with um, Bloodborne, like, it is a hard game, but I feel as long as you spend enough time on it, you're, and you're, like, learning, your skill always improves, so it does get easier as it goes. So, I don't know, it it's hard, yeah, it, it's hard, I guess, but compared to, like, a game, one of those games like Super Meat Boy or something, which I just cannot possibly ever hope to finish. I think it's, like, easier than those type of games, personally. Wait, is that where I... That's where I came from. Yeah. We'll go up the ladder. I don't know. It is a hard game, but I feel as long as you put the effort in, Blood Souls, uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls are definitely doable. Hmm. Shitballs. Especially because you can uh, level your character as well and your gear and things. So if you ever get to a point where you can't beat a boss, you can always go off and level and level and level and level and level. Like level a shit ton. And it does make the boss easier. So, um, you know, there is that mechanic as well. Whereas there's some games that just are like all you've got is your skill you've got no... you can't upgrade your weapons, you can't upgrade your characters. Those games are very, very hard, I find. I suppose these are just all infinite summons or something coming out of here. Oh! Is that a trap brick? No. What do we got? What do we got? Feels like there'll be traps around here, too. G 
G'day, Percy's. How you doing, man? Whoa. We'll, uh, see what's down here quickly. Hey, buddy. We'll get this out. A chink. Blood vials. Nice. Needed them. Do you guys... Oh, sh... Oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, well. Um, are you guys into Attack on Titan? Because Attack on Titan is out in, like, five or six days, I think, from uh, uh, Koei Tecmo. Or Tecmo Koei? Koei Tecmo, I think. Wow, I just got freaking pwned, man. That, uh, that was quite unexpected. Oh well. Sorry, mates. Ah, oh, I stepped on a trap there, huh? Wonder if they will follow because we're on such a linear type level. I think this was the way. Do I know the way? This was it, wasn't it? I want my bloody souls back. Wait, this is definitely not it. <laughs> um, Alright, we're doing it anyway. Are those two statues something? No, it's just the big guy. Oh shit! No! Man, these red dudes sneaking up on me. Okay, that doesn't look to be anything. Probably a rune or something. Oh, just ritual blood. Bleh. Poopy. Yeah, Attack on Titan 2, the uh, the game is coming out soon. It looks actually really quite fun. What the f Fucking not again. I guess... Um, those traps are around the place, huh? Scum. Scum! They give hardly any, uh, echoes, though. Blood vials. Where did I go last time? I guess I went over somewhere else. Must be over here. Alright. Okay, so here is where I died before. What was down here? I don't think I fully checked. Ooh. Hey, dudes. Just in case. Oh. Okay. Oh, you f What a cock in a sock. What the hell, man? Oh, this is way back at the start, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh! <gasps> Why are these guys messing me up so bad? Can I javelin them? Oh, they missed. Alright. Alright, mate, I'm not in the mood for your shit. <laughs> well, that didn't go too well. Yeah, Ralph! Are you kidding me? Get the fuck down. <laughs> What a dork. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see the uh, the um, eh, the Titan mode too, mate. It looks pretty cool. Is he following? They are. All right, let's take care of them. Sure. They they'll track me here, won't they? They know I'm there. Yeah. All right. Oh come on, these guys, man. Their attacks are, like, really quick, but, like, um, have a big arc on them. I, I think I, I might have mentioned this before on stream, but I like Attack on Titan, I really do. It started off really cool, but I know it's got something to do with, like, the, the whole story and everything, but I find Eren just fails way too often. 
way too often. And I know they didn't want to have it as the trope as him just being this all-powerful kill everything as soon as he gets his powers. But I guess fine, they do these massive build-ups to how cool Eren is. And then he just gets the shit kicked out of him by, in like every single instance. So, I don't know. It, it kind of... I don't know. Time for sniping. We can't snipe him here, mate. Okay, has he got some buddies behind him? Alright. Let's thrust deeply into him. Oh, he's got a different weapon. Can we sneak behind him and then thrust deeply? Yeah, I saw his fight with the Armored Titan where he does the cool, like, uh, MMA stuff on him. But even then, like, he... I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Whoa! Talk about fat rolls. See? Slither of health, man. It's just beyond coincidence. It's far beyond coincidence how enemies do that. I mean, for the amount of... It's kind of like Aaron is writing... His mouth is writing checks, his ass can't cash. Because um, the whole first season, he's like, We must defeat them, and blah, blah, blah. He gives these epic speeches. And even when I first started watching it, I was like standing up like, Yes! Like, just getting totally pumped up um, when Aaron would go into a big speech. And then he just gets in and gets his, this shit kicked out of him. <sighs> I don't know, man. So, this is another thing uh, Vardy mentioned in his videos, that if you're ever lost in a dungeon, these little guys light up their lanterns when you run past them, so you know if you've already been in an area, because the lantern will be lit like that, which is a hella nice touch. So we'll go back to the start here. Hopefully I don't have, like, a trail of fiends waiting for me. Can we knock them down? Pachink. If you're also looking for some other good Bloodborne or Dark Souls people, you guys probably have heard of them before, but a Russian Spy is pretty good. Um, and also Epic Name Bro. I'm not sure what his Bloodborne series was like, but I know Epic Name Bro for Dark Souls was like... He was the grandfather of Dark Souls, man. It's just... His videos are wicked. Uh, this is too deep. The door should be on our right or left? Right. Right, right? Yeah, missed all the charge blade, Devil May Cry charge blade. I still have to put out a video on that, but uh, there's so much information I need to cover on uh, Monster Hunter World now. They're getting a huge update to Monster Hunter. Oh, crap. What the crap? Are these those same... Oh, no. These are those uh, big fatties again. Um, I don't know if this is a good element against them. But I want to do extra damage to them, so I might chuck this on. No, don't spin around like that, camera. Oh, d that would have, like, tickled his little pickle right there. Come on. That's hacks right there. No, don't do it yet. Okay, now. Okay. Oops. Got him. Boom! Oh, I could have done that follow-up attack, couldn't I? I think I'll do that on this guy. Come on, mate. Oh, he's just gonna blunderbuss me. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> ah, that looked awesome. <laughs> no! Just smashing them into the ground like that, I love it. 
Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Oh, mate. He, he could have got me then. He totally could have got me. Oh, we did it. We got a chalice back and we got our little stony things. Yeah, the the, the armor from uh, Devil Joe looks rad. Pickle armor. And we also get a user-created weapon. Uh, what do they call it? Something. It looks amazing. The design looks absolutely fantastic. What is... Did it go further? Or is there a chest or something at the end of it? Does it go deeper? Huh. Do we want to keep going or do we back out or what? Will this go forever? Because I'm not really getting much echoes from it. I suppose it's mainly for the um I suppose it's mainly for the gems or something. So what do you guys think? Will this keep on going on and on and on? Should I bail out or what? Is it a thing that you come back to during the game? You know? I guess... See, there's a the guy. He just lit, lit up the little torch. Ah, oh, the fucking camera angle. Um... I have one more boss. Okay, cool. I'll keep pushing on then. Hey, Prospector Oleg. Cool. What's in there? Um, should I wait until the boss so he doesn't die? No, whatever. I'll get him. Boing. I've never seen the Devil May Cry anime. Is it good? I've actually I I like Devil May Cry, but I wasn't I'm not a huge fan of it. I like I like the character designs and a few different things about the the game, but I've never really hugely gone into it. Maybe I'll have to check out the um Hey it looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll have to check out the uh, HD collection or something, huh? Oops. <laughs> Oh, we're covered in muck. Whoa. Dude. Whoa. Wow, he's, uh... I don't want to be messing with that shit. He took, like, no damage. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that took a bit of damage off him. Arcane, no! Arcane Haze. And we got the sack dudes around. We'll take care of this summon him first, huh? Oh! Don't go off the sack dude alone, man! Otherwise you'll go into beast mode. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Ooh, that's kind of cool. We'll come back to it. I'm guessing these will just be normal blood shards. Ooh, tempering blood gemstone, nice. Oh, here, yeah. summoner. No, 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 no. Yeah, so what's what's the deal with that snack? Did you did you just play Bloodborne way way before Bunnies did or um and she kind of never wanted to play? Is that what happened? And you were just like, "Hey, you should play this." Or what's the story behind that? Cuz it seems like you know a lot about the game where she may not Okay, so there's little levery things everywhere. Oh, summoner. Can we see it coming down? We'll try to go up in one of these, huh? Oh, are we gonna miss out on our summon dude though? No! Oh, 
Oh man. Shit. Um my little dudes down there at the bottom. Olek, the prospector. Spelunker. Um well, there's nothing much up here, is there? Anything droppable? Oh, dude, is everything aggroed to me right now? <laughs> Sounds like Oleg's getting messed up down there. I might have to go down and join him, huh? Don't do it, Oleg! Come up here, mate! Wow, there's dick up here. Maybe you can go up here to, like, hide from enemies or something? Oh. I don't want to leave my bro behind. Come on, bro. Or is he dead? I'll die if I drop off that. Oh. Maybe if we go off here. I can't. Crap. Oh, well. Rip. Rip, I guess. Oh. <laughs> This place is balls, man. Yeah, I don't... I don't like the aesthetic of the Chalice Dungeon so far. I, I know it is kind of like a nightmarish thingy, but it just... I don't know, I like the uh, the buildings and the street design and everything of uh, Yarnum. Well, it sounds like he's down there kicking the shit out of stuff. So this is the same layout as the, uh... Oh. This is too inviting, this tunnel. Something's gonna drop down on me. Right? No. Beware of terrible foe. No? Trolls. Alright. I missed the chest. Okay, well, we'll try and get our mate first. I really want to get our mate back. Otherwise, he's... No! Our mate just died. Gah! Holy shitballs. What the hell is that? I don't care what it is. It's going to die. Have you got an item on you, buddy? Ooh. Um, I missed the chest. Huh? Where? Dragons, do you know where was the chest that I missed, mate? I don't even remember where I was before now. God damn it. Was it back over here? Missed a chest. I'll have a quick look. But otherwise, uh, I'm not really too fussed. It'll probably just have, like, ritual blood or something for summoning, right? At the end, in that room. Uh, I don't know, man. That description's a bit too vague. I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna keep looking around. If I see it, I see it. If not, I'm not too fast. Pachink. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna drop down... And, uh, yeah. Man, I can't believe, well, I can believe Oleg copped it. Poor dude, I shouldn't have left him alone for so long, huh? Wait, what's back here? Because he ran out to see Oleg in there before getting owned. Anything else? Oh, ooh. Oh. Ah, there's the door. There's a switch. Pachink. You want to get thrusted? Oh. <laughs> See? Look at that health. It's speaking shit, man. I, this game is rigged. I know it's rigged. 
It's totally rigged. Kachink. Yeah, I wonder if Oleg actually took out anything in there. We'll we'll check what his progress was like, huh? Kachink. If he took out that big ass flower thing, I'll be pretty happy. Ah, oh, I thought that'd be gonna be a secret door there. All right, let's go. Hey, Sarah! No, no, don't, don't, uh, don't apologize, Sarah. It's it's fine. I realize you've got a busy game and stuff going on, and that you hate me. But yeah, no, I understand. We got uh we got the wonderful snack here anyway, Sarah. So it's all good. <laughs> G'day, Malamute. How you doing, man? Well, oh, can we actually use this? Huh. Cool. I didn't know you could use cannons in this game. Noise. Ah, uh, doesn't appear to be much up here. I want to take out that thing. See if he drops anything good for us. Oh, nearly missed out on that. Ritual blood. Uh, we'll drop down because we need to go back to the start anyway. Uh, I'm just worried that I'm going to get swamped once I do. Ooh. Can we sneak up on him? Probably not. Nah. <laughs> oh, what the frig is that? Yeah, you got nothing, bud. He kind of looks like the, um... What was that, the name of the monster in Dark Souls 1? Was it the Hungering Beast or the... The Chess Dragon. I don't know what it was, but anyway. Nothing but messages here. Ah, oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, we could have just gone up this way. Uh, Alright, let's find the Excite. And uh, open that door. Yeah, I, I, pff, dragons, I don't know where that, that chest is, mate. I'm sure it wouldn't have been anything all that amazing, though. Would, it wasn't a weapon or anything. I know you can find variations of the weapons down in here, can't you? Gaping dragon, that's it. Yeah, Chris Redder, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. All the love for the amazing Lek. And Bunny is always more fun than Snack. Hey, that rhymes. I like it. <laughs> yeah, but Sarah, never feel guilty. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, my channel will just fade into obscurity without the views, but, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, Sarah H actually has a channel called I Break for Bunnies. Um... Is it just F-O-R? Uh, she's doing a playthrough at the moment with her, uh, her, uh, boyfriend, Christopher. So, um, oh, Bloodborne. So if you wanna, if you're keen for more Bloodborne, check it out. I don't know if we go this way or deeper down the other way. Oh, shitballs. Maybe we'll go the other way. Hey, buddy. No, don't go Super Saiyan. Great DC, hello. Uh, yeah, Sarah H is not, it's, she's on a different account right now. It's actually on a different channel. I break for bunnies. Bold Hunter's Mark. Blood Vial. Man, I feel... I'm already stressing out about that other direction I could have gone. Maybe there's just items here. Nothing all that great yet, though. Did I say Christopher? Jonathan. 
Did I say Christopher? I don't know. The rhyme was totally worth. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if you guys missed the start of the stream, I said this week, um, probably this month, I guess, <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing with streaming is trying to clean up some loose ends with, uh, I'm not, is this just repeating? Sure, we've been here. Um, I'm trying to clean up some loose ends with, uh, games I haven't finished and stuff, so I need to do Secret of Mana. I'm going to go back and... Uh, play that, and also the Frozen Wilds, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, play a bit of that. Um, and also we'll be revisiting Final Fantasy XV at some point, but it's going to be pretty much every day we'll do a different, um, a different game. I'm going to still be playing Bloodborne, but it just won't be, like, every day. Man, I am... Oh, you... F fuck. <sighs> I double tap the button. I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh shit. Where am I? I don't even know where I am. God damn it. What a dork. Um, I am not really sure, uh, Larry. I... I don't know. The whole Twitch thing... I feel like if I start if I start broadcasting on Twitch very regularly, it almost means like I shouldn't live stream on YouTube as well because they're kind of they like kind of they're counterproductive, I guess, if I'm streaming on both platforms. I really don't know where I'm going right now. Um so, I think if I went more often on Twitch, I would pretty much have to have that replace my live streaming on YouTube. Which, at this time, I'm having trouble getting people across to Twitch, so I don't know if that would be a good venture or not. Where the fuck? I'm back at the start now. God damn it. Okay, this is the door I opened up, right? Yes. Okay, I'm back on track. That door, I don't know. Oh, there we go. A chink. So, I don't know, Larry. I feel really... I don't like what happened, what I've been doing. Watchdog of the... Is it Sif style? Um, I don't like what I've done in regards to Twitch, but I really don't know how to handle it at the moment. I really don't. Oh, I like the music. No! Oh! oh. <laughs> Can't believe I hit him with that. Alright, what's going on, mate? I'm thinking this guy's gonna near one shot me. Oh! <laughs> that, <laughs> that was so close. Oh, shit. I should have known. Every time a boss does that, they're going to do an AoE. Oh, he's nearly done. I'm going to heal up just in case. No! That would have been alright if it didn't interrupt my attack. I would have... I would have dealt with trading blows. Oh, we got him. Huh. Alright. I guess I'm a little bit over level for this, huh? Central Chalice. Uh, Fire Blood Gemstone. Ooh. Oh, that went pretty well. I think that's the end of the dungeon. It's the Scourge of Fire, and it's all thanks to Hound. Very insightful uh, message there, mate. <laughs> Good shit. Well, that went pretty well. Yes. I think that's it, right? Yeah, man, we smashed that dude. 
I, I think it was because I didn't know what the boss was going to be like. It, there's no, there's nothing like hanging on your shoulders. It makes me so much more free to just get in there and kick the crap out of them. Yeah, Sarah, man, I, I, on, I, not only like the fact that you maintain the channel, but also the fact that you do the third shift at all. I, I couldn't do it, man. So, hats off to you, eh? Uh, we didn't get anything. Let's check out these gems that we got. Holy balls! That's actually really freaking good. Thrust attack up? That's exactly what I want. Oh, and we got fire attack up. Does that mean... Oh, I guess... So if we don't have fire attack, it just automatically adds fire attack to it? It looks like it. Good shit. Man, that is, that is an awesome gem. That was totally worth doing that chalice dungeon. Nice. Physical attack up 6.3%. Dude. Blunt attack up. Uh, thrust. Fire and add physical. This one looks actually really good. Physical attack up 6.3. Oh, wait. That's... Cu oh, I see. That, that's not thrust attack up 11%. That's my total that it's giving me, right? So it only really gives like 4.1% if I'm reading that correctly. Um, that fire would be kind of cool for the extra damage, right? I get what's going on there. Does that take away all my physical? Plus 105, plus 9. I think that... Yeah, it, it changes my physical attack down into fire, which means it negates all of my add physical. Is that what I'm... Is that right? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Man, we just got hella beefed up in there. That was good. Good shit. Um, volume on my last video. Oh, Malamute was that the um, was that the vein, uh, in Dissidia? Yeah, I saw, I saw. Thank you, man. Um, I just didn't check it after I released it. So, oh, so it negates my physical completely and turns it just into fire. Okay. Um. What are we doing? Should we keep going or what? I do have a video that I should be putting out on Monster Hunter, but I really can't be asked editing at the moment. Um, I don't know where to go from here though. Where's our next area that we should hit up? We also have another chalice we could do. But chalice dungeons aren't all that great, are they? Search by chalice cliff? Weird. Do we have the central one? Makeshift altar? Layer 1, layer 1. Okay. Chamber of the Seal. Yeah, that's the one we did before. Do we have the central? Third ritual? Ah, oh, okay. So we've got... Okay, I see what's happening here. So we can do any ritual we want. Yeah. Root chalice. We don't have enough for it anyway. We need more ritual blood. Wait, do we? Don't we? Do we? I don't know. Enter the glyph code. You can get 25k echoes in 3 minutes. It's so good. Alright, well, uh, I'll, I don't really need... I don't really want to be doing echo farming too much at the moment. So, um, maybe I'll skip on that one. I, I, I don't know where to where I should be going now though what my next area is I really don't what I do want to try though no I want to get my strength up to 30 I think we can use the uh, hand cannon or the cannon if we do that um something I haven't done since the start of the game I want to go back and see Yusefka is it Yusefka her clinic Hello, loser. Um, we just did the witch before. 
because I've never actually gone back here, but I've I was watching um Vardy Vidya's videos and ah oh, there we go. Oh well, hello. Hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Off you go then. Um, I I know because I've watched the lore stories, I know her story. Uh, but I think there's certain characters that are better to send to certain places, right? Actually, what we might do is um, we'll poke around Yarnum and we'll have a look for people that we can send to the uh, the church or the clinic. Man, what a what a mess. Absolute mess. Um because I know we can now send people to the church. I don't know who we should send where though, but uh there's not I everything is as it seems at Yosefti's clinic. Whip whip I don't even wait. Actually, I don't even know where the people are here. So, whether this is going to do us any good or not is uh, yet to be seen. Bing. We'll poke around because when I first went in here, I just kind of ran through it. So, bling. We'll go the full way around, huh? G'day, Seeker Law. Hey, doing, mate? Oh yeah, the Forbidden Woods. I think we can go there via the uh, Cathedral Ward. We take a left instead of going up the stairs, I think, possibly. Oh. Who's that coffin? Kaboom! Oh. Because I think... Uh, with the little girl, uh, Gascoigne's daughter, no matter what we do for her, everything ends in tragedy for her. Like, she does not have a nice story at all. Um, otherwise, I don't really know where all the people... Ah, oh, don't do that. Shit, that was close. There's a person there. We'll drop down there. Knock, knock. He's gone mad, it sounds like. Remember me, bitches? Yeah. Oh, lucky one, buddy. Oh, see you, Speed. Have a good one, mate. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Alright, man. I wonder if there is there someone inside the house there. Okay, so I know we can talk to the cranky old woman. Um, I don't. I just don't know where they are. Maybe I'll. Oh, this is going backwards. Maybe I'll have to do a bit of a um, a bit of a look at walkthroughs and stuff about where to pick up these people. I know there is a skip that you can do here. I don't know if it is patched or not, but I'll have a look at it. Um, there's actually a jump skip you can do here. This is actually behind Yusefka's uh, clinic. You can actually skip so you can get in behind there way earlier rather than going up through the Forbidden Forest. Uh, you can do it by jumping up there and you actually glitch out and you can walk along the fence. Um, 
It is patched? You can't do it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, that seemed like a hella good... Hella good skip. I can imagine, like, speed runs and stuff. It'd be hella handy. <laughs> it, it got patched, like, two years ago. Um... Yeah, I w I'm close. I only missed it by this much. <laughs> hey, let's take on all these old bastards. Yes! <laughs> oh, satisfying. At the start of the game, if you get, like, two guys on you, you're fretting. Fretting. So, oh, look at the frame rate. It really doesn't like all these people, does it? Oh, they're still taking a chunk off me. Let's do this. Sorry, blokes. Hey, doggy. Leave me alone, man. This guy's like, fuck that. I don't want to go out there. <laughs> Alright. Well, satisfying to take out all those dicks. I suppose after this amount of time, pretty much all the skips and stuff would have been uh, patched out, right? I know at the start, when I first played it, you could do an item duplicate trick. I just shoot down the door, man. Does the item duplicate trick still work? I know you could, like, shuffle around items between two different characters and it duplicated items completely. Wow. Alright, we'll see if we can find any of these doors. I'm in the completely wrong place, I think. Oh. Gascoigne's daughter, is it? Oh! <gasps> Oh, such a poor little story here. Hmm. I suppose because we broke the brooch, I guess we can't even tell her to move on. Alright, I, I don't... Where's the cranky old woman that tells us to go go jump, basically? I don't remember where she is. I might just have to do a bit off stream and send her to the uh, the clinic. No. Nope. And we can also where the where we found the prostitute. We can uh, send the other guy to the clinic as well. I I kind of don't want to send the little girl anywhere. I really don't. Uh, I just kind of want to stay in there as well. Um, yeah, I feel really bad for her. <laughs> oh man, I love because to being covered in blood like that. Oh! Yeah, I totally forget where that chick is, the, the old cranky biatch. Uh, fuck you, Hunter. Uh, oh. Boom! Um. Maybe down. Was it where the dogs were down there? It's near the dog cages. Ah, okay, I think the dog cages are down here, aren't they? I think. Ah, wrong button. Ah, oh, I could be wrong. This doesn't look dog cagey. Uh, is it? There's those two dudes. I know about them. Mate, I, I'll let you... Just leave me alone. I'll let you, let you live. See? There's that slither health again. Rigged. Absolutely rigged. 
dog cages should be around here. Uh, maybe she... Well, we'll look for a land incense burning. Sorry, doggo. And have you guys... I don't know if you've ever seen an Irish setter. They, they kind of look like these dogs in real life. Even without being all weird and zombified, Irish setters are... They're real strange looking dog. They're, they're kind of... Yeah. Horror style. Okay, um, is she around here? Get AJ hide. Uh, yeah, good man. I'm uh, I'm actually loving Bloodborne. It's really good. If I could find this old lady, I would like it even more. Actually, across the bridge. Ah, okay, there she is. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, thanks for the tips. I wouldn't have found her otherwise. Well, if you weren't to stop your asses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what, Libby? Are you going to tell me you're not? Tell her of Odin Chapel? I think we'll send her to the chapel. What do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go slit some throats. Get this mess done with. <laughs> I, I always wonder, even the little girl, how she got as far as she did. Like, surely that woman couldn't get past, like, any of the enemies at all. Surely. G'day, Noella. How you doing? Blah. Uh, I don't think there's anything for me to gain here. Um, I think I've done everything I can here. So, let's bail on this one. Alright, uh, let us... Uh, where is my bold hunter's mark? Did I go right past them? There they are. There's rafters there. Oh. And wow, goddamn, was there a hunter down there? God damn it. Alright. See you, Malamute. Have a good one, man. God damn, so I should have gone down there. Ah oh, well. Shit happens. Aline the Crow? I've talked to her once before. Last time we saw her, she was outside the Grand Chapel, I think. Um, otherwise, I don't really know where to go next. If we go to Cathedral Ward, there might be a way to go out of there. Have I set items on the touchpad hotkeys yet? No, not yet. I haven't really found the use, well, the need for a lot of different uh, items yet. There was a crow hunter up on the rafters where you rolled through the barrels. Oh, okay. Well, now we have the old lady here. This is the woman that was shouting at us before. Oh. Aburo, I've uh, I know about the law, so I know I know about Yusefka's clinic. <laughs> Whoa, she's uh, she's batshit crazy. Um, I know there was another exit to take around here. I'm just gonna poke around a bit. We'll see what's going on. Hey, that it. Um, 
I'm pretty sure there was another way to go out here, wasn't there? Pachink. Revenge, you dicks. Ah, good enough. You can see the eyeballs on their lanterns now. Last time we couldn't see that. Is there an entrance up here to the left? Oh no, that was that was where we went before, right? Ah. Dick. Um oh, these guys are more powerful now. Because <laughs> my insight's too high. <laughs> Take that bitch. Alright, this is definitely not the way to go. No. Is that a ladder there? It is. Alright. Um, I might actually... Uh, end the stream here. It's been going for two hours, so maybe I'll head back to the dream. And then I'll try and get my bearings together. Kind of work out where we're going next and stuff like that. Well, the thing is, I haven't been popping Madman's knowledge or anything like that. So... Maybe I'll buy some items from the uh, the Hunter's Dream and drop my insight a little bit. Um, is there any advantage at all to having a high insight? Does it increase the drop rate at all? Because I think in Dark Souls, the higher humanity you have, the more uh, luck luck you have with items. Could be wrong about that though. No, Raphael, I haven't. I remember the door. I don't know where it is though. Bring. Uh, I'll go to the hunter's dream. Ooh. Okay, this guy. I remember this guy. Bang! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I should have done the follow-up attack, but anyway. All right. Uh, let's go back to the hunter's dream. Inside helps with frenzy. Okay. Well, I'll do I'll do a bit of poking around before the next stream, and we'll uh, we'll work out where we're going. Um, but at the moment, I, I feel like I'd just be running around in circles a little bit until I worked it out. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah. So, like I said before, this week or this month, I'm going to try and tie up some loose ends. But I will still keep on playing Bloodborne. It may just not be that I'm playing Bloodborne every day. We're going to jump around. Before between a few different games so yeah we'll see how it goes but again thank you guys very much for all the tips and advice and things like that uh sarah h thank you very much for the contribution and again plain target thank you very much man um check out sarah's channel i break for bunnies uh i break for bunnies uh she's playing um bloodborne at the moment so check that out Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys very much for stopping by. Hopefully, I'll have some good videos for you across the weekend, but i got to see what happens with my wife and daughter because, of course, I need to spend some time with them because it's been a while. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for the support, and hopefully, we will see you all next time. Until then, this has been Lemon Eating Cow. See you, guys. Uh, have a good one. Um, moo. Moo, moo, moo.